95.5 KLOS and KLOS HD1, Los Angeles. UFC 161 is coming up. It's going to be Saturday, June 15th. You won't want to miss this one. It's Evans versus Henderson. And we're going to have Dan Henderson in studio with us next on the Heidi and Frank Show. It's the Heidi and Frank Show. Call Heidi and Frank now at 800-955-5567. Follow them on Twitter at Heidi and Frank. And watch the show live for minimal consideration at HeidiandFrank.com. Now, here's Heidi and Frank on 95.5 KLOS and KLOS HD1, Los Angeles. Heidi and Frank Show. Yeah, UFC 161. Sugar Rashad Evans versus Dan Henderson takes place Saturday, June 15th from the sold-out MTS Center in Winnipeg, Manitoba. This is the UFC's first visit to the province. So, I mean, just the... the Excitement. The crowd there having their first UFC event. It's sold gonna, out. It's, it's going to be... It's, well, it's going to be sold out. Yeah. You can, and uh, I suggest you get the uh, pay-per-view that's going to be starting at uh, 7 p.m. Pacific time on that date, Saturday, June 15th. Let's get uh, Hendo in here. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, have a sit Let's down. See. Little, there little he is. Look at that. How you doing, man? How you, Dan? Good. You man, know? you look. Look at that fight. Look at that fight in shape right there. He falls out of the chair, hurts himself, <laughs> and we cancel like, the fight. Great, oh, great. thanks. <laughs> nice job, producer. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing all right. Uh, you, do you normally get up uh, this early to train, or is this early for you? Uh, it's not too bad. I, I got kids, so oh. they get oh, yeah. me up early. Yeah, if you have kids or animals, you're probably used to getting up yeah. early in the morning. Yeah, I'm really excited about the UFC 161 because it's always fun uh, to watch you fight. A big fan of yours, but I yeah. actually attended well, the uh, UFC 157. When you fought uh, Leona Machida, and oh, I'm sorry, I know I, oh, I saw the frustration man. on your face, and, and you could feel the frustration in, in the in the crowd that uh, Leona should go on Dancing with the Stars. Seriously, it's really all he can do is he was dancing around. He didn't want to fight. I don't understand how you lost that split decision. It was ridiculous. Your thoughts? Uh, yeah, it's it's you know for me, I hardly consider it a fight. I mean, it's you got to kind of engage a little bit more to have it be called a fight but did you expect some of that going in knowing how he fights yeah i did but not to that extent i mean i, I thought eventually he would you know kind of at engage. some point yeah has machida ever because forgive me I'm, I'm new to ufc but and i'm completely obsessed with it now has machida actually ever thrown a punch <laughs> <laughs> because i was watching so i want here's the thing i bought the fight the, your last fight I, I very early in the morning went on pay-per-view bought it so that i get to see all the stories and then they just run on a loop all day long so i was watching you and you have this beautiful property and you're there with your kids and you got the chickens and all i mean it's like living the life and i'm like i love this guy i've completely fell in love with you and i'm rooting for you and i'm waiting and i'm waiting and you come out and you fight and then Machida just d dances around, and I'm like, I was so, I was like, please, please, just hit, punch him in his throat <laughs> one time. I, I, Dan, I wanted you to win so badly, but well, and I you. and I felt bad that Me you had too. to fight him. I don't understand how he's made it this far. I don't get it. Yeah, you know, he's good at, at doing what he does, and and you know he he wasn't he typically doesn't do it as bad as that. And you know at one point he engages and and he catches guys. He kind of lulls them, gets them to chase him around, and then he catches them pretty well sometimes coming in and. That probably has a lot to do with you, though, and your style. It's like I don't want to. I don't want to get in there. I, mean, I don't want to get hit by Dan. Henderson. Seriously, I mean, I uh, on pay per view. I've, I've been watching UFC for a while now, and then uh, your uh, your fight against uh, Shogun Hua was like one of the best fights in UFC history for me, in my own personal history, and probably UFC history. You guys have five rounds of just. Uh, yeah, it was definitely a barn burner, dude. I mean, yeah. that's what I mean. As far as selling pay per view and tickets, and and Dan, he, I mean, he'll get in there and. And that's why I think Leota doesn't want to get in there because there's no way. I mean, you and Shogun just beat the, out of each other. You really did. And it, it was great. Well, yeah, I mean, it was uh, definitely a little tougher fight than I was hoping for. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, Shogun was tough and he kept in there pretty good, and you know, um, and then I got tired. So that was definitely a tougher fight than I was hoping for. But, yeah, Machida, he just didn't want any part of that. And, and I, I, I did think he would engage and. and and fight me, but he did a great job but, not fighting. Uh, for, well, for the fans, I mean, you uh, you put on uh, great shows, and I think for this next one, this UFC 161, where you're fighting uh, Sugar Rashad Evans, I don't think you're going to have that same kind of issue that you had with uh, Leota. I think it, he'll probably want to get in there and scrap with you. Uh, sometimes. I mean, he, he's kind of done both ways. You know, he kind of runs around a little bit and not engages, but... 
you know, he's not nearly going to be as bad as Machida was. Now, and, Dan, do you have like, I feel like there's a little bit, obviously you're a fighter, but then there's that, you know, you want to make everybody happy and you want to be a good performer. So do you think that, man, I, I want to take this guy out in the first round, but I want to give the people a good show, so I want to go five. You know, do you have that thought, or are you just like, no, my goal is to always knock him out in the first round and go home and have well, some dinner? Yeah, I think uh, for it to be a good show, it would be a nice one-round knockout for me. <laughs> Yeah, well, and the people like want to see like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess that's, that's why so. I think this card, this one sixty one card, is pretty good because you got two light heavyweight uh, fights. You guys are the, the headliners, and then you have uh, two heavyweight matches, which is, is possibly you know you always see a knockout usually there, and then you have a female uh, female fight. I think you're, uh, who's fight? What girls uh, are women's right? bantamweight? Uh, Alexis Davis versus Rosie Sexton. Now, when in one fifty seven. It was rumored that you were kind of upset being undercard to a female fight. No, Is that no. true? No, no, no. But you heard that, right? Yeah. No, I think one of my trainers just thought it was kind of, you know, either disrespectful or whatever, and he spoke up. But I didn't have any. But you're all supportive of uh, chicks in the UFC yeah, and, and absolutely, and how that's uh, encouraged. I mean, I guess maybe even a bigger audience or female audience to come on board. Yeah, I'm a fan, even without the oil. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I the baby pool of Jello. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> No, I, 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 I definitely enjoy watching them fight as well. I mean, they get in there and scrap sometimes. I mean, I think anything less that brings... knockouts, but, you know, they, they get in there and go after it. Yeah, I think anything that brings more people to your sport is, is obviously going to be good for you because you're going to have new fans that would have never known you or yeah, known about absolutely. you, right? I could uh, go through your ranks and titles, but then we'd probably run out of time because this is so damn long. But uh, you were uh, an Olympian, and uh, with the wrestling... In 2020, they weren't going to have wrestling in the Olympics. When now it's up in the air, it's like now it's like it has a possibility of getting back in. There's three sports that have a possibility of getting back in. It's one of them, so it might be back. Uh, are you um, speaking up on, on the uh, for wrestling in the Olympics? Are you doing anything? Uh, yeah, proactive? a little bit. Yeah. I'm, I'm you know trying, but being so busy and and you know I. When you heard the news that it might not be in the Olympics, were you like, that's impossible? Like, you, you had to have wrestling in the yeah, Olympics. Yeah, and I had Save Olympic Wrestling on my shorts on my butt last fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if you saw it much because I was going I wasn't really looking at your ass. Right. Yeah. Right. You, <laughs> you probably saw it. Yeah. It's, 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 it was the world's first sport, right? It's the oldest sport. Yeah, not besides seeing be... how far we can throw these rocks. Right. It's, it goes back to the yeah, beginning of time. Right, definitely one of the first Olympic sports. Right. So. Yeah, right now, uh, Dan Henderson's hanging out with us, but they're saying that the, the three sports that, they, that might have a chance coming back, wrestling, uh, baseball, softball, and squash. So it's between that. I'm like, right. come Are on, you, you gotta me? have, ba- yeah, wrestling, squash. Ugh. I don't know what the hell that is. Who's paying? I won't even eat that. Who's doing pay per view of squash? <laughs> hey, did you guys pay per view in uh, squash? Yeah, we got uh, squash tournament mine. coming out of yeah. pay per view. Yeah, let's all gather around with beer, with our beers. No, nobody cares about that. No, I found it interesting in your bio that says you've never really had a real job. You've just been wrestling since uh, you started wrestling. Uh, well, I mean, I definitely know how to work, but yeah, it's. Uh, I kind of almost pride myself on it, but yeah, I've, you should. I've had summer yeah, yeah. jobs here and there, but not really a, a real job. You take care of your you take five. care of your land. Yeah, you take care of that yourself, right? That's yeah. a job. That's how you got the suntan. How'd you get the suntan? <laughs> yeah, I thank mom for that one. <laughs> Yeah, this is a genetic just suntan genetic. all the time. I wish I had a genetic yeah. suntan. Well, I, 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 tan, I tan real fast. And yeah. You, you know, I don't get burnt. So. Are you starving right now? You look... You look no. You're not? No. Preparing for this, like getting all the all the water? I, I don't have to cut I mean, weight you, at all. You don't. So you just walk around at normal weight and don't cut? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm under 205 almost always, so... Yeah, you look... You look great. So, yeah, I, most guys cut a little bit of weight. Rashad's not the biggest light heavyweight either, so... You know that's always nice. So he walks around uh, around the same weight. Uh, I think he's a little bigger, ten pounds bigger, but he'll probably cut a little bit away. Now, I know you're not looking through R- Rashad, but obviously it's like okay, whoever's going to win this is probably going to get a shot at John Jones at some point. And you guys are supposed to fight, and uh, you got canceled. You were you injured? And yeah, I hurt, I hurt my uh, MCL, my knee. And so they they scrapped the whole. It was like a year ago you're supposed to do. Yeah, that's scrapped... the first time they scrapped the whole card. So now they're making you go earn it again. It's like so. I mean, I, not, I know you're not looking past him, but it's like uh, the taste. I mean, can you just to taste that fight? I mean, you want. I that? was something that I feel like I. You know, it's like you study for a test but don't get to take it. Oh. You know, I I was prepared and, and had the game plan and, and the best shape of my life and got hurt. Had a great camp and, and uh you know, but that's the way it goes and, and hopefully I get that shot again and you know, whether it's for a title or not, I'd like to you know, kinda challenge myself against him. 
Is uh, the training for like a John Jones or Rashad Evans? I mean, I mean, as far as like you said, studying, you, you probably study film, and then you go in there and go, "This is what uh, this." Is there a different plan for everybody, or is it like this is, this is the Dan plan? I go in, I'm gonna kick. You your always ass. fight your way, and don't worry about who. Well, you're you have to be aware of what they can, they will probably do to you or try to do to you, and and but you can't be in there thinking, "Oh shoot, wait, I'm gonna wait for what he's gonna do," or. You know, and, you gotta and, be and you're never going to be offensive that way. Right. So, you know, I focus on what I'm going to do to him. At the same time, I want to be aware of what what they like to do. When's the last time you had a fight with somebody, physical fight with somebody that wasn't that you weren't being paid for? Like just sitting at a bar, <laughs> just and some, sitting at a bar. Somebody, Besides practice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, are you uh, that guy who's had to scrap in his life? Uh, I've like, had I've had like maybe two or three street fights ever. Really? Because well, people not, just not almost, then word got out. Almost, uh, <laughs> Nobody's has to. That was before I started fighting. Oh, All right. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I think if you've always sort of looked the way you look now, I don't think you're a guy. Somebody's gonna come up to in a bar and hey, let's come on, man, let's go. And you're like, mm. what are you trying to say? Yeah, you see Dan's ears. Am I buy, that ugly? You buy him no. a beer right away. <laughs> you see his ears, you go, I'm gonna buy him a beer. That, that's one of my rules. I see Colin no, Flower I, I, I'm laid back and I don't ever. Talk smack to anybody, so right. It's it's pretty simple not to get in fights mm -hmm. when guys are always complain about how much they always. Oh, right. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. It's fine. Beep. I think uh, you can get away with you know, it. You're a little bit less Dan Henderson. You say anything you want, Dan Henderson. Exactly. You know, it's it's obviously something they're doing as well. It's it, it you know it's not just everybody else. Right. Dan Henderson hanging out with us for uh, you got UFC 161 coming out. Evans versus Henderson. Uh, since you're here at 95.5, the uh, classic rock station here in Los Angeles, as far as like classic rock uh, music, is there a classic rock band or music that you put on uh, to train to, or or, or uh, what type of music do you listen to? Uh, mostly country. Country music? Yeah. yeah, I love country music too. Do you, what, do you, what do you come out to? What's your song you come out to? Uh, Made in America. So we keep. I can't wait for this fight. Leonard Skinner? Do you like Leonard Skinner? We've got country rock a little yeah, bit. Yeah, a little, little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Oh. Um, do you play any instruments? I do not. Have you ever tried and just been like, I can't do this. I can master everything else in no. martial arts, but I can't. Well, I can't do know. a C chord. No, I, I mean, not really. Not really. Never picked up uh, a harmonica and just kind of blew in it. <laughs> I, prob I probably have. Are you a golfer? Like, what do you do when when you're not? I know you got the kids. Yeah, but you're so not you're wrestling. Busy. You're not working. But what do you do? Uh, Hobbies. Hang out with my kids and and uh, ride horses. And <sighs> how old are your kids? Uh, Fourteen, twelve, and five. They keep me fairly busy. boys, girls, uh, girl, boy, girl. Girl, so, like a fourteen-year-old girl. I got a, a girl. She's gonna be sixteen here, mm. it, uh, dude. I, it only gets worse, man. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I hate to tell you that, but I fourteen. Somebody, that, somebody said that to me the other day when I was dropping her off, and she was had a little bit of an attitude. Uh, uh, it only gets worse. <laughs> it really does. And then, can you imagine the sixteen-year-old so boy that's gonna come and maybe take her, come to the house and go take her out for a movie, and, and you gotta meet her dad. Said no. Um, I'll, I'll, uh, we could just watch a movie here. I, I don't need to go anywhere. I mean, whatever, sir. I, I, whatever you want. Do you, do you plan on mad dog and boys to come over? Have you done that? No, I don't. Hopefully, I won't have to. <laughs> <laughs> you will. I'm sorry, man. Hopefully, the reputation proceeds. Right. Exactly. <laughs> You're dating whose daughter? Oh they'll find, man. They'll never. She'll never get asked anywhere. <laughs> Dad, I can't get a date. <laughs> Still living at home. Yeah, I, I think I need to come up with a game plan. She just. She just finished in eighth grade, going into. Going into high school. Yeah. She's graduating actually today for eighth grade graduation. So, tonight. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations. That's a that's a big deal. Uh, thank you for stopping in. Anytime, man. We you want to come by, stop in. We'll be well, rooting for you. It. Thank be, you. Be sure and uh, get the uh, pay per view if you're not gonna. Well, I, you're not gonna go. It's in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba. I was saying that the first time it's been up there. That crowd's probably gonna be pretty electric as far as like. I mean, it's, it's electric anyway. But this is the first event they've had up in the province, so it's like those those people have been uh, hungry for this. Yeah, it's definitely sold out. It's been sold out for a while, and and uh, I've always said it that. Canada has the most fans per capita out yeah. anywhere. It's amazing. You know, they just all love the sport. Mm. So that's going to be uh, a, quite a night. You will, will want to get that on pay per view. Again, that is June 15th, starts at 7 p.m. on pay per view. Main event Sugar Brashad Evans versus Dan Henderson in a class of clash of former champions. Mm. Thank you so much. Like I said, anytime you want to come back, please do. We're going to come right back. We are Heidi and Frank. Oh, that was just a little sample of the Heidi and Frank show on 95.5 KLOS. To get more samples like this and hear all the fun we have, you can do that at 955KLOS.com. Now, to get the show in its entirety, on demand, and if you want to watch the show, we webcast it every day, all you have to do is go to HeidiandFrank.com and become a premium package member. Do it right now.